I said, I want to buy under bottom water. Can you deliver it today? But I want a credit account. I'll pay in 30 days. So what is going to happen? You're going to sell under, uh, under bottom water in 20 days. So then you got the money. And in 10 days time, you need to pay for the water that you purchase. So technically, you are not spending any money. That's what I do. I got 30 day credit with all my supplier. And when we do private party, I get I require payment 14 days before. So what do I do? I take payment for the clients and then I go and buy the goods with their money, not mine. So trade credit I think is the best. Because you buy you order today, get delivered tomorrow, and you pay at the end of the month. So by the time you need to pay, you already sold the product. Hopefully at profit, so it costs you nothing to operate. So trade credit is the best way. But this is not a kind of finance business. It's a kind of ongoing expenses business. Right. Internal source. Well, I already did say many times. Basically, my force was myself. So I lend money to my business. So. So I will not pay corporation tax until the business pay me back. Family and friends, right, I would say family is probably the better option because what I learned working banking, everybody's friends, but as soon as you put the money in the middle, friendship disappears. And the rule, my rules is never start a business with your best friend because you might lose your business and you lose your best friend. So, go to friends, fine, but because they're friends, they don't, you, people think, oh, you know, it's my friend. I had to give 100,000, he can wait. Well, you realize that after a while that the friend is not friend anymore because he's taking 100,000 back. So family is probably the best option, but you know, it's very the family. I would say, you know, father, mother, maybe brother and sister, but I will not go for further down. Because further down you go, again, you know, family can, can have problems. And I know this for myself. My father had a big company was selling yacht. He had an heart attack, he was in hospital for three months. His brother took over the company in, in 30 days bankrupt. And it was his brother. So I trust family, I trust friends, but I don't. But you know, it's the event of most friends you got. If you want to keep the friend the friend forever, don't put the money in the middle. That's my rules. Retain profit, well that's basically you make profit and you keep it aside and basically you can reinvest. I've been reinvesting the profit every year since I start. I bought one van, after six months with the profit I bought the big open on a trailer. The big open on a trailer after two weekends pay for itself. So I've done another 10 event and with that money I bought another van. So you retain the profit. Right, um, my company is a, is a limited company. I work for the limited company for one simple reason, well two simple reasons. B, if something goes wrong, it's company property. I just sell whatever is on the property uh, and I'm a clean man. B, from a tax point of view. If you go all in the company, all the profit go into the company and you get well. From the 1st of April 2018 after yesterday, we can't do any more. But basically you can, you can offset the capital expenses against the profit. But yesterday in the budget they said that you cannot offset the capital capital purchase or capital asset against the profit. So I have to find another way. But that's why you bring the company support. Um, basically if the company is, is good because as I said if something goes wrong all the risk is in the company. If you are sole trader, if you decide to be a sole trader, so you're not in the company, the chance is that to get 
bank loan or drugs commercial mortgage. You need to put your house as a capital because you said, oh, you know, I want to buy under, I want to buy under trust. Okay. You sold trade there, so we take you, we basically we take your estate. So if something goes wrong, you might lose your house. With a limited company, if something goes wrong, they just say, okay, you need to sell, you know, we take two months and we find all what can we take? You have to give us 20,000 and just say, well, take that, that, that debt. I've still got the business, but I've lost everything. With a sole trader, you know, someone get injury in your premises, they might make a claim, you might have to sell the house because someone tripping you in your shop. So sole trader is not the best option. Maybe at the beginning it is, but if you start making a good profit, just do a limited company as well. If you got a limited company and you got family and friend, you can offer them share in exchange of capital. Again, I will not offer the share to my friend because if, like Microsoft, you start from a garage and then you offer 10% share to your friend and 10 years later, your company is 100 billion pounds, your friend is going to be very happy, but you're going to be a bit upset because to give away 10% 10, 10 years ago, you lost, you know, you have to give them quite a lot of money. You can do a venture capital, which is like a kind of friend, but basically you create a limited company and you invite an investor to invest in the company. But an investor would like a percentage. You know, if you've been watching that on them, they always go for the percentage. You know, they never go, oh yeah, we give 50,000 and you ask for 10%, not or what, 50%. So it's a venture capital, but drag on them, they're not, they're not stupid. So we can see that this making profit, so we want more capital, more share in the company. Business angel. Don't know what that. What's a business angel guy helping out? Is it a common investor that puts a lot of money into the company consistently, basically? Okay. So he's your best friend, basically. Well, he, he can say, he starts saying he's your best friend because if you make a profit, he's happy. So he's become your first friend. As I said before, when money's involved, friendship people love these guys because it's true. Anything else? Also, well, it's not part of this one, but since the financial uh, crash, all the local government are putting, they put grant of half of business. So basically every year they got a budget of like 10 million, uh, like seven of got 20 million, and they basically give you free grant. So basically, they give you the money that you need to repay, but there's no interest. But they tend to do grant for businesses that are actually help the community. So in, in my case, I tried to apply for a grant two years ago when there was shortage of uh, people find job. So basically there was a grant to employ people to learn the trade. So I applied for, I, I started to apply for the grant and I couldn't find any apprentice. So because I couldn't find an apprentice, they did, they did, at the end I said I don't need a grant because you know, I cannot justify the grant because I'm looking for the grant to, to employ an apprentice. People and then go and run the business. So it did happen. But I know of a lot of business around here that apply for grant. And you know, you can apply grant every year, it doesn't matter. If you got a project and you can prove it's good for the community and you're gonna employ people, the council is more than happy to give to you. And then of course now we are in a digital digital time. Have you heard about crowdfunding? Basically it's a website and 
you basically said I want 20,000 and basically you go, you can have like 20,000 living investment. Because people can put one pound, people can put 10 pound. But again, there's an interest, and I think it's at the moment about 7%. When you think the interest rate, the basic rate is 0.5, it's quite a lot. But if you got a good idea, you do get a lot more. There was a brewery in um, Camden Brewery, they do beer. They decided to relaunch the business, bigger premises, they bought 10 pub, and they decided to do to fund in Circle, which is another government based site. And in three weeks, they raised 1.8 million pounds. Because everybody liked beer, so they said, oh, you see, it's a free investment. Because they were offering, and basically, a life for life for the life of the loan. Every year you get 120 liters of beer delivered to your house. So everybody's busy down the sun said, okay, 120 liter, I'm just gonna fund the 120 liter. So they were buying, you know, basically they bought 250 bottles of beer for 10 years every year. So basically for them was I said either I, I drink this one and go to the bar or just help a business growing and I still get a beer at home. So this way it is. Anything else? Yes, Any question? Any yeah, questions? No questions? No is questions? It open tonight? Huh? Is it open tonight? Offset. Offset every Thursday. Ice cream on Tuesday. Eating beer Wednesday, eating bridge and walking down. Leave it on Friday, 24 March, we're going to start doing the, a pint and a pizza at the new Western Brewery in Vegas Lane in Western, which is happened to be my brother-in-law, so which is crossing, where basically he was one of my business advisor because he used to work at HSBC for 20 years, I was a Barclays for 10 years, I was Social General, Deutsche Bank, so you know, I was in the city for about 22 years. And he was in Japan, then he was in the US. When he was in the US, he started researching what do I do next, and he want, yeah, I'll come to you in a second. He wanted to do what champagne, because, and he located Western, because from Western down to the coast, you got the same climate of France. So you can actually grow champagne. So you start doing research, and then the wife said, Angle, you plant something today, and we get the money in seven years. I said, we got two children. This is not gonna happen. You know, we can't invest today and get the money in seven years. It's not possible. So then he done a bit of research, and uh, he started Western Brewing. And like me, he finds himself because he comes from a city. What's your question, sir? Uh, how do you decide where you sell the locations? That's part of your market research and uh, just good fate. <laughs> well, when we start, we basically, I'm basically near, I live near Seven Oaks and the business in Crocamil. So the first thing is that, you know, I want to be there. I don't want to travel two hours to sell pizzas. So I start, where, do I, where can I stop? And basically, you can stop anywhere on travel land. So I basically start approaching village hall, community hall. I even approach people with a driveway on the high street. So I'll give you, how many of you, four people, every, every week you get four free pizzas. Or I can pay you something, whatever. So then um, we, I, want, I always wanted to do Oxen, my wife said, oh Oxen, you know, we're not going to sell any pizza, there's Pizza Express, the Cucina. I said, well, let's give it a try. So we done a bit of marketing campaign, a bit of leafleting, and before I start, I've done basically a two dry run. So basically, I, I, invite, I invite all my friends around, <coughs> and I was selling pizza for the van, and then I done one at church, at King, King Church Oxford, 
and basically ask them to invite all the families, so we have about 500 people, just to give the idea how busy we 